Hello everyone and welcome back to Exam Ignite YouTube channel. This is fifth module of the environmental studies of fifth semester uh, dealing with the environment legislation that is Act Water Act of 1974, Air Act 1981, Environmental Protection Act 1984, Solid Waste Management Rules 2016, E-Waste Management Rule 2022 and Biomedical Waste Management 2016. So let's start with that. MCQs, Water Act was enacted in 1974, Air Act in 1981, Environment Protection Act in 1986, Solid Waste Management Rules in 2016, and E-Waste e Management Rules was updated in 2022, Biomedical Waste Management was introduced in 2016. The main objective of the Water Act 1974 is control of the water pollution. Air Act 1981 was enacted to control the air pollution. Environment Protection Act 1986 gives the power to central government. Which law covers the hazardous waste is Environmental Protection Act. E-waste rules regulate all of the above. That is manufacturing only, disposal and recycling and imports. Medical waste includes laboratory waste. Violation of the Environment Protection Act leads to the fine and imprisonment. National Green Tribunal NGT was established in 2010. Main aim of the environmental legislation is protect and improve the environment. Which act established the Central Government Control Board CPCB Water Act 1974? E-waste rules encourage reuse and recycle of the electronic waste. Under the Environmental Protection Act, the penalty may include fine up to 1 lakh or imprisonment. The authority responsible for enforcing the waste rules in India is CPCB and the SPCB, which rule covers the segregation of biodegradable and non-biodegradable waste at sources, Solid Waste Management Rules 2016. Environmental Protection Act enacted in the year 1986, the Air Prevention and Control Pollution Act in 1981, Water Act in 1974, Wildlife Protection Act in 1972, Forest Conservation Act in 1980, the first in the major Environmental Protection Act to be promulgated in the India was the Wildlife Protection Act. Central Government Control Board was established under the provision of water Act 1974. The Karnataka State Pollution Control Board was established in the year 1974. The environment protection is the responsibility of all. The Earth Day is celebrated. So it is observed on the April 22nd. Then which of the following is an NGO? It is Narm Narmada Vachao Andolan. Which of the following is empowered to take the measures to protect the improve the environment as per the protection act it is central government uh, which of the following is the authority to monitor the industrial effluents the state pollution control board the leader of the chipko movement is sundarlal bahubana the environmental protection act 1986 deals with the water soil and air the objectives of the wildlife act is 1972 is all of the above to preserve the biodiversity protect the Con conservation of wildlife to maintain the essential ecological and life supporting system. The Tiger Conservation Project was started in 1973. The goal of the National Parks and the Wildlife Sanctuaries is the conservation of wildlife. Environmental education is targeted to all the general public, professional, social groups, and technical and scientists. Which of the following animals in the endangered species of India? It is black bug. Which state has having the highest women literacy in India is Kerala. Then an international conference of environmental education was held in December 1982 at the New Delhi. The environment protection is the fundamental duties of the citizen of India under the Article 51A. The objectives of the integrated child development services are all of the above. Immunization, health checkup and FLC services, preschool and the non-formal education. ISO 14000 standards deals with environmental management. World Summit on the Sustainable Development was held at the Rio de Janeiro in 1992. An important NGO involved 
in the global environmental protection as greenpeace the first international earth summit was held in rio de janeiro silent valley movement succeeded in cancelling the state government hyd project and saving the lion tailed monkeys the committee which submitted the report to the government of india on the environment education is tiwari committee under the act 1981 which of the following is considered as pollutant sulfur dioxide which of the following is a primary objective of an environmental protection act 1986 in india as to prevent the environmental degradation and control the pollution the environment protection act 1986 was enacted in response to the bhopal gas tragedy under the uh, act who is responsible for ensuring the compliance is the state pollution control board spcb the solution the solid waste management rules in 2006 in india primarily aims to promote the recycling of the solid waste which of the following categories of the waste must be managed separately according to the uh, rule is wet waste dry waste and hazardous waste what is the role of the municipality under the solid waste rules in 2006 to ensure the proper segregation and collection of waste what is the primary objective of the e waste rules in 2016 it is to regulate the safe disposal and recycling of e waste what does e waste refer to an electrical and electronic device that has reached the end of its useful life which of the following is not considered as e waste it is unused plastic what are the common hazardous material found in the e waste is mercury lead and cadmium what is the iron and steel constituting e waste it is 50% which of the following element make e waste hazardous in nature lead in 2006 iaer projected the electronic and electrical appliances would become e waste by 2015 is 3 billion according to the comptroller and the auditor general cag report what is the amount of e waste generated is 4 lt what is the hazardous pollutant released from leds is arsenic what is the hazardous pollution rate from the electron tubes is the barium from the batteries is cadmium and from the circuit board it is arsenic then what is the hazardous from the telephones it is lithium and from the calculators it is mercury and uh, from the plastic it is pcb what is the uh, primary methods for recycling is manual dismantling and the material recovery main reason for the e waste has become global issue is large quantities are produced every year what year the e waste rules first notified in india in 2011 what is the primary purpose of the biomedical waste management rules in 2016 is to manage the healthcare waste in the environmentally safe manner which of the following is an essential characteristics of a successful solid waste management program comprehensive waste collection recycling and disposal methods under the government guidelines for the solid waste management are followed today is solid waste tools 2016 thank you for watching please do like share and subscribe to exam ignite youtube channel for the further videos see you in the next video